For a league that got very little respect, the ABA always knew how to put on a great show. High-flying, fast-paced, over-the-rim kind of stuff. We were Showtime before Showtime ever got near L.A. The three-point shot, the multi-million dollar contracts, the tomahawk dunks, all those things found a home in the ABA. The ABA was a long shot, a cult app, the Invisible League. If you didn't buy a ticket, chances are you didn't see us play. But man, could we play. People would try things in the ABA that you would not try in the ABA because you had the freedom to do that. The ABA uh, let people understand that creativity was good in basketball. We had a lot of guys that were from the playground. The coaches in the league let them play this style of play. And it became part of the game because you know what, it worked. We were averaging 15 to 20 dunks a game. And all of a sudden, you get this run, shoot, and holler game, which became a playground game with talented professional players. Respect, we always did put on a great show. Yeah, it was a long shot. But as it turned out, it was a shot worth taking. And like the rest of the guys who played in the Red, White, and Blue League, I'll always be proud of the years I spent in the late, great ABA.